Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm going to quickly show you how you can make the most out of everything that Tailwind has to offer. We'll walk you through some of our most powerful features so you can start scheduling pins like a pro in no time. Now, the most important thing to know about is you really want to have our browser extension installed. This is by far the easiest and fastest way for you to schedule pins and repins on Pinterest. Now, I'm showing this in the Chrome browser, but we also have extensions available for Firefox and Safari. Once you've got it installed, you'll see the Tailwind icon here in your browser bar. So let's see how it works. If I'm browsing the web and I see an image that I want to pin, like these really, really delicious looking brownies, well, all I have to do is hover over the image and click on the schedule button that appears. Now let's say there's multiple images from this page that I want to pin. Well, that's easy too. All I have to do is click on the Tailwind icon in the browser bar. All the images that are on the page will show up and I can select one or many of them and click on go schedule. Now the same exact thing works on Pinterest. If I want to schedule a repin, then all I have to do is click on the schedule button that now appears when you hover over every pin. And if I want to schedule multiple repins from the same page, then again, click on the browser bar and all of the different pins that are on the page will show up and I can select one or many of them. So let's choose a couple of these and see what happens when I click go schedule. So all the repins that I just selected now show up in this pop-up as drafts. And basically, when you have drafts, you can set what boards you want them to go to, you can edit the description on each of them, you can set whether you want Pinterest to send it to your Facebook and Twitter account, etc. So let's add some boards. So first, I want this one to go to my World Travels board. When I click here, I can either select that board from a list or I can just start typing. And for me, that's easier. So I selected World Travels here. Now, it's not just one board per pin, I can send this pin to multiple boards right from here. So I can add another one here and I can keep adding more boards to basically duplicate or clone this pin. Now if I have five different drafts here and I want every single one of them to go to these two boards, it can get pretty tedious. So we've made it pretty easy to do that all from one place. At the top, you'll see an add boards to all option. And I can type the board here and let's see what happens. Boom, it just populated on all of these different drafts. And let's add the other board here as well. So now, I basically just created 10 different pins, or 10 different uh, individual pins, based on these five drafts. And I can go ahead and schedule those. So let's do that. I'm going to add these to my queue. Now, it's important to note that there's two different ways to schedule. One is adding to queue, which I'll talk about in a second. And the second is setting a custom time. Now, when you set a custom time, and you click on this little clock icon, a calendar is going to come down. You'll be able to choose the exact day that you want it to go out, and the exact time, and when you set it, you can then schedule it for those exact times. So I can do that here. Great. So now let's talk about how to actually set up your schedule. Back in Tailwind, we're now on your scheduled pins page. And you'll notice that those 10 pins we just scheduled are now here. So if you want to make any changes to these pins before they actually get sent, this is the page where you'll do it. So let's give you a quick lay of the land here. On the left side is your queue. And this is just a list of the pins that you've got scheduled uh, in the order in which they're going to be sent. On the right side is your calendar grid. And this is just a visual representation of your queue so you can see everything at a glance. I know you're probably asking yourself, for those pins that we added to the queue earlier, how do they get scheduled for 5.17 p.m. and 10.20 p.m.? And what are all these empty boxes? And why are these pins all the way down here away from the rest? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. On your schedule page, which you can find under the publish tab, is where you can set up your entire weekly pinning schedule ahead of time. So you'll notice that there's a section for every single day of the week here, and inside each day, there's little boxes with times in it. So these little boxes are what we call time slots. And time slots are kind of like setting an alarm clock for various times during the day when you want pins to actually publish. So on Friday, what I'm saying here is I want my pins to get published at 5.17 p.m., 10.20 p.m., and 10.43 p.m. So if I go back to my schedule pins page and I look at these that are coming up, today happens to be Friday, well, my next pin is gonna go out at 517, the one after that at 1020, the one after that at 1043, exactly like I set in my schedule. So this is where adding to your queue becomes really important because when you add to your queue, what's gonna happen is it's gonna fill in these time slots in the order in which you have them set up and it's gonna fill in the next available one. So the next pin that I add to my queue is going to be scheduled here on Saturday at 9.25 p.m. And the one after that on Saturday at 10.57 and so on and so forth. It'll fill in these empty boxes. So why do we do it this way? 
Well, it's actually meant to make things a whole heck of a lot easier on you. Because this means that you can set up your entire schedule in advance, and all you have to do is just set it and forget it. I mean, watch how easy it is to just start adding pins to your queue. It's truly amazing how quickly you can schedule pins when you're not worried about the exact perfect time to schedule every single one. I mean, you can just let the schedule do all of the work for you. And here I go. I'm done. That's it. Now I've just scheduled 8 pins in about 10 seconds. Now let's head back to your schedule because I already know the question you want to ask. Hey Alex, how do I know which times are the best for me to set up in my schedule? Well, we've got you covered. You see these green time slots here? Well, when you first sign up for Tailwind, we crunch a bunch of data about what type of content you pin and when your audience is most active on Pinterest to create what we call a smart schedule for you. All of these green time slots are optimized specifically for your account so that you know that when you pin at these times, you give your pins the best chance of being seen by the most people. Now there's two ways to add more time slots to your schedule. One is you can click on the add time slot button, select the exact time that you want to create a time slot, and voila, there it is. These custom time slots will show up in gray versus green. And if you want to get rid of it, click on the time slot and then click on the trash can icon in the corner and that will delete it for you. Now the second way to add time slots is these empty ones here that are outlined in green. These are actually suggestions for your smart schedule. So if you want to add more smart time slots to your schedule, just click on these and they'll fill in. And finally, if you ever want to refresh yourself on any of this, just click on the getting started section because everything we just talked about is also explained here. All right, let's head back to the scheduled pins page one last time. I'm going to show you what's probably going to be your favorite feature of all. So now that we've added all these pins to our queue, what happens if we want to change something? Well, changing something on an individual pin is pretty straightforward. You can click to select a different board. You can change the way it's scheduled and set a custom time. You can edit the description, or you can even send it back to your drafts or delete the pin. It's all pretty straightforward. The thing you're probably going to want to do most is rearrange the order in which these pins are showing up. And to do that, it's literally as simple as dragging and dropping. If I want to put a pin in a different spot, all I have to do is click on it, drag it there, drop it, and it's done. And if you've got a lot of posts that you want to rearrange, there's an easy way to do that. There's a handy shuffle button, which will take anything that you've added to your queue and just randomly rearrange it. And there we go. Now you'll notice that all the pins in this area rearrange themselves. But the ones down here, they stay put. Why is that? Well, if you recall from earlier in this video, there's a pin we scheduled to two different boards using a custom time, where a calendar came down just like this and we picked the specific date and time. Well, those are the pins down here, and you'll notice that they look a little bit different because they have a clock icon in the corner. And so when you're rearranging your pins by dragging and dropping, or you're shuffling your queue, any pins scheduled with a custom time like these are going to stay put. They're not going to move. But what if you did want to actually shuffle these in? will actually be pretty easy to do that. So I'm gonna click on this pin to get it to come up and I can change it to switch to the auto queue. So change from a custom time to the auto queue. And by doing this and actually saving it, this pin is going to now switch and the page is gonna refresh. And now we can see that this pin has been added on to the end of the queue as an auto queue post. And we can now drag it and drop it or we could shuffle it in with the rest of the auto queue posts here. And it's just as easy to go the other way around too. If I want to take a pin that's auto-queued and schedule it manually with a custom time, all I have to do is click on the time here in the corner, the calendar will pop up, I can pick the specific date and time that I want it to go out, set it, and now this pin will be scheduled with a custom time. And there it is, it just moved down here. And so this means that you have all the flexibility you need to schedule your pins exactly how you want them. So that's it. Now you're truly ready to schedule pins like a pro. And make sure to check out all the other amazing ways that you can schedule pins with Tailwind, like our direct integration with Canva to design a pin, pinning your photos and videos from Instagram, and directly uploading images from your computer right into Tailwind. And if you have any questions, feedback, ideas, or suggestions that you might want to share, or you just want to say hi, you can reach us anytime by sending us a message right through the app. We're looking forward to hearing from you and can't wait to get started as your co-pilot on Pinterest. Oh, I almost forgot. As a bonus for sticking with us through the end of this video, 
or for cheating and just skipping to the end. Either way, here's how you can get set up scheduling pins from the Pinterest mobile app on the iPhone, iPad, or Android. Just go to this URL that's on the screen right now, and you can get set up. Happy pinning!